Okay, you guys, I'm on somewhat of a covert operation here in Bastrop County. I drove to where the new SpaceX building is located. It's right across the street from the Boring Company building. Uh, so let's show you some of what I see. So not a lot of details have been revealed about the SpaceX building here. It is 521,000 square feet and Joe Tegmeyer made an awesome drone video about this area about two weeks ago, um, but it looks so much bigger actually standing in person. Uh, but I will link his drone video if you want to watch that. So I don't know how much I'm going to find out, but um, I don't want to get kicked out either. So I'll show you what I see. So this is really interesting because on my last trip to Austin, I actually drove to a boring company, uh, looked like a headquarters, uh, but it was definitely much more of like an administrative building in a completely different area. So I'm going to show you um, what it looks like over here. So as you can see, this is on Walker Watson Road. Uh, all visitors must check in at the main office. They're not expecting me, so I'm probably not going to go check in. <laughs> but uh, here is the uh, the Boring Company, and then right across the street, across this fairly busy highway, is the new SpaceX facility. And you can see that they're doing a ton of work. Um, Joe made a great video of an aerial view of this, but here from the ground, we can just see that, you know, not nearly the size of Giga Texas, but still pretty dang big. Yeah, it's going to be hard to show you the scope from the ground here. So I may need to borrow some clips from Joe Tegmeyer. Go follow his channel. He has the most extensive coverage of the uh, Giga Texas. And he is now, I think, going to start to do some updates of uh, SpaceX facility here and then Boring Company. And I want to show you another view. So again, I'm not trespassing. Um, but we can see some stuff from the outside, some tunnel segments there. Um, and yep, this road is very, very busy. Now, another thing to keep in mind about Project Echo is SpaceX, well, this is probably not a surprise. They've been fairly tight-lipped about what the heck this facility is for. So uh, a Reddit thread, not that that's exactly a uh, any great confirmation, but pointed out that uh, in the 1960s, Project Echo was used to describe an experiment between satellite communications. So seems likely that this is a production facility for Starlink. But either way, um, obviously, Musk is moving a lot of his business to Texas. You know, we have a bunch of new buildings for Neuralink and also SpaceX now. Boring Company has a presence not only over here where I am in Bastrop, but like I said, there was another administrative building that I went to and um, unfortunately did not get a tour, uh, but they were very nice there, but they said, hey, what are you doing here? How'd you find this place? So uh, how did I find these places? Well, it's not that hard if you do a Google search. There's no um, insider information that I have here, but I just wanted to show you there haven't been too many videos done about the progress of the SpaceX facility. So you can see behind me here, Walker, Ro <laughs> Walker Watson Road, Walker Watson Road. Say that five times fast. I have no idea what those are for, <laughs> but I thought maybe it would give us a clue as to what the heck they're going to be doing here. Well, I see way off in the distance some Starlink, but that doesn't really mean anything. You guys, this is me doing an investigative report. How am I doing so far? <laughs> I swear the only time that I don't like my bangs are in the wind. So forgive me. But, you know, there is some speculation that the SpaceX facility here in Bastrop County is for scaling up the Starlink production. But we also recently learned about Starshield. That is the government segment of Starlink. Now keep in mind on June 6, SpaceX got a permit for this construction project here. They have been calling it Project Echo. But as you can see, since June, so much progress has been made. Uh, this is 521,000 square feet. 
and it has a very nice kind of sleek design there at the front uh, but you can see a lot of people at work and i've been trying to sort of zoom in or see if i can i don't know get any intel here from the side of the road on what exactly they are going to be doing here there is speculation that maybe they'll be making the star shield segment of the starlink business model that is uh for the government customers um, but yeah, you can see, you know, there's just farmland here and then the boring company has its own operation there on the other side. Yes, uh, it is cold here in Austin. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to stand here on the side of the road too much longer, but uh, bear in mind that the project is estimated to be completed in March of 2023, according to a Tesla Rati, Tesla Rati article. So uh, obviously a lot of progress has been made here and we should know more pretty soon about what exactly Project Echo is all about. But until then, we will, uh, you know, just do our reports here from the side of the road. I'm laughing at myself. Um, this is not my first time standing on the side of the road uh, in terrible weather for a report, but at least this one isn't live. Um, so anyway, I hope that you guys, uh, you know, uh, enjoy seeing the progress here. I figured since I'm in Austin, I might as well swoop over here and see what's going on. Just for another perspective, SpaceX facility, and then the boring company. Woohoo! Delivery area. Can I deliver myself for an exclusive scoop? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. So unfortunately, we did not find out a ton, but I mean, visually to see all the progress that's been made, especially when you look on Google Maps, there was nothing there. Um, I'll show you what I mean. And so I, I'm glad that I stopped by. It's really cool to see, uh, you know, kind of these giant facilities taking shape here um and yeah i also hope that my new mic i got a new microphone for when i use my iphone because the iphone is extremely handy to have especially when i'm on the go uh my camera battery dies really quickly so sometimes i've noticed the sound is a little bit over modulated so sorry about that i'm working on that it is a new microphone but hey, it's better than if it's completely windy and then you guys can't hear me. So I'm hoping that this microphone will help me with future live streams. And thank you to the Patreons who suggested that I get one. And, um, you know, little by little, we are making Ellie in Space <laughs> more credible. And I, I just feel so grateful that I'm here able to cover stories that interest all of us. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this here at the Boring Company, this sort of structure, uh, I thought it looks kind of like an equestrian arena. I rode horses for many years, so I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, this could have completely fooled me that this is this little covered wagon deal here. Now, Joe pointed this out in his video when he did a flyover of this area. But the front of the building, the SpaceX building here, is really quite uh, quite sleek. So I'm going to zoom in on that. So yeah, the front uh, looks real nice. Now I'm looking forward to coming back here whenever this is done so that we can see kind of what the difference is. Uh, but here it is today, uh, December 16th, 2022. So they're thinking that it'll be done by March and it looks like they're making great progress. Mm -hmm. 